Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. I love this bralette. It's one of those designs that comes together at the end and I couldn't be happier with it. Especially the underarm detail. It's a small thing but it makes a huge difference. Same with the thicker straps. Those plus the cut and your favorite bra does wonders for the figure. Speaking of figure, I figure you should hit subscribe. It's a great way to help creators like me keep creating things for you to enjoy, and if you have already, be sure to click the bell. It sends you a notification anytime something new is posted to the channel so you don't miss out on the goodness we got coming. Now it's time to get to work, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 150 grams of yarn, and it's 350 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 4mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by commenting your favorite snack. Since I'm keto right now, it'd have to be pork rinds for me, but I'm down for any new snack suggestions. Details down below. I'm using three stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, Single crochet and double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4mm hook. And start off by making an even number chain from the inside of one breast to the outside of that same breast. Keeping in mind we're going to have a 1 inch detail in the middle. I'm going to make a chain that's 4 inches or 10 centimeters and that's a chain of 18. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and chain 1. This counts as our turning chain and not as a stitch. And into that second chain from our hook we're going to insert with a single crochet. So let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Continue to put one single crochet into every chain. And now that our single crochet row is all done, we're now going to double crochet until we have an even number of double crochets that reaches the middle of our breast. So to get this row started, we're going to chain three. This is our turning chain and doesn't count as a stitch. We're going to flip our work and we're going to yarn over, preparing for a double crochet. Insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more, yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Continue to put one double crochet into every stitch until we reach the middle, making sure we have an even number of stitches. Just to let you guys know, I'm gonna have a total of 10. All right, so we are back with my double crochet row. And just to remind you guys, I had a total of 10. From here, we just want to double check and make sure that we have an even number of stitches of single crochets left over so that we don't have one left over when we're going in with the curved rows. Now, from here, we're going to continue with our double crochet rows until this reaches the height of mid breast. And we're going to make sure that we end along the outside of our cup. So just to get the next row started, do a chain three. Still doesn't count as a stitch. Flip our work and put one double crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back once we have this section all finished up. All right, so we are back with the halfway height of my cup, and now we're going to start working on the curve. But right now I have a total of one, two, three, four, and five rows. And how we're going to start our curve is start with a chain three, just like all of our other double crochet rows. Flip our work and put one double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one so that we can do our increase together. Now that we've reached this corner stitch, we're now going to do an increase of five double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last corner stitch with one double crochet. Here is our second. Three double crochets, two more. There is four. And then here is five. Now what we're going to do from here is insert our stitch marker into the third stitch into that increase of five that we made so that we know where our 
middle portion is. Now from here, we're going to put two double crochets into every side double crochet row to make our way down towards the base. To get that started, we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that first side double crochet with one double crochet. Now, once more into that same side double crochet, that's my first set, let's do one more. Yarn over, insert with one, and insert with our second. We're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way down towards the base. And now that we put two double crochets into every side double crochet row, we're now going to connect it into the base. So what we're gonna do is count up one, two stitches and slip stitch into that second stitch to close off our first curve row. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there's one, and then there's two. Go ahead and flip your work. And then we're going to put one double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. All right, now that we have made our way up with our second curve row, into that stitch marker, we're now going to do an increase of three double crochets. So start with a yarn over, and then put one double crochet, put another, and then our third double crochet into that middle stitch. And then from here, insert your stitch marker into the second stitch from your hook to indicate where the middle is again. From here, put one double crochet into every stitch, making our way down. Do a chain three when we reach the end of the row, flip our work, and then put one double crochet into every stitch while doing an increase of three into that stitch marker stitch again, and then just keep working back and forth like that until we don't have any more stitches left into the base to work into. Do a chain up of one and cut, and once we have that, make one more identical cup, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so now that both of our cups are finished, we're now gonna start working on our middle detail. So the first thing we're gonna do is insert our hook, into this side single crochet row because we started our cups off with a single crochet row. I'm going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through. Now we want our middle detail to be about an inch, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of four, and that's about five centimeters. Once when I have my chain, I'm going to slip stitch it into the other cups side single crochet row, yarn over, pull through everything. And then once we have that, we are ready to get started on the actual detail portion. So we're gonna start off with a double crochet. So into the next two available stitches, we're going to slip stitch to get the height for our double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything, and then into that next stitch as well, yarn over, pull through everything. Flip our work, and then we're going to put one double crochet into every chain. So to get that started, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Go ahead and put one double crochet into every chain. And now that we've put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into this next cup. So we're going to count up one, two available stitches and slip stitch into there. And now our first row for our middle detail is all finished. Now our next row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. So slip stitch up one stitch, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. To get that started, we're gonna insert our hook into that first stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do one more into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And now that we have reached the other end, we're gonna slip stitch it into that next stitch into the base. So insert your hook with one slip stitch, just like that. And now we're going to repeat, so let's get this next row started. Slip stitch up the next two stitches, flip our work, and then now it's going to be one back loop double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And from here, continue to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, slip stitching it into the base the same way that we did for our previous row, and then do a slip stitch row. We're gonna alternate between a back loop double and back loop slip stitch row until this reaches the height that we want our middle portion to be right before we start our split. And I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. 
All right, so we are back with our middle portion. I'm ready to get started on our split, and I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six rows. We should have all ended on a slip stitch row. So what we're going to do from here is work our way up to our next back loop double crochet row. We are going to do an increase because we still want this split to go up and over. So let's get that started. So slip stitch up the next two stitches, just like how we've been doing to get started in our double crochet rows and flip our work. From here, I'm gonna start with an increase of two back loop double crochets and then put one double crochet into the next. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop. There's one, there's two, and then into that next stitch, we're just going to put one double crochet because this is my middle stitch. So from here, we're going to work our way back with a back loop slip stitch row, just like how we've been doing for the middle portion. So we're gonna chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert, pull through everything, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left. Slip stitch into that next stitch. Slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there's one, there's two, and flip our work. Now we want this up and over portion to be the same width as our middle section, so we're gonna do one more row of increases. So start with the yarn over and into that first stitch. Let's do our increase. There's one, and into that same back loop, our second back loop double crochet, and then put one back loop double crochet into the next two stitches. So into that next back loop, insert with one, and then into that next back loop, insert with one. And once we have that, we now have the same amount of stitches as we have in the middle. So chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Slip stitch it into the base. Work our way up to our next back loop double crochet row, and then just put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, flip our work, and then repeat. No more increases. I'll meet you guys back once we have made our way all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left, and I'll show you guys what to do for this other side. All right, so we have made our way all the way up with one side of our cup detail. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did here on this other side, but it's not reversible. So I'm gonna to have to talk you through how to do the first few rows. So we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into that next stitch that we have, which is our second middle stitch. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. And just for this first row, this chain three that we're about to do is going to count as our first stitch. So chain one, two, three. That's our first stitch. We should have one stitch left, so we're going to do an increase of two back loop double crochets into there. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then once more into that same back loop. Now we should have our increase of two plus our chain three, which is a total of three stitches. And now we're going to connect it into the base. Count up one, two stitches, slip stitch into there. We're going to do a back loop slip stitch row, so slip stitch up one stitch, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And once we have that, we're going to chain three again and flip our work. Now I do still want this to have the same amount of stitches as our middle row, so we are going to do one back loop double crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase into the last just to match it. So insert into that first back loop with one. Insert into that next back loop with our second and then into that last back loop with our increase. So there is one. And then there is two. Let's now connect it into the base. So count up one, two stitches, slip stitch into there. And then from here, it's going to be a repeat. So do a back loop slip stitch row, a back loop double crochet row with no increases or decreases now, making our way all the way up until we don't have any more stitches left. So I have just finished up the other border for my cup. And now, right before we get started on our back, we're going to need to do a little bit of prep work. We're gonna single crochet along the side of our cups, going up and stopping where we want the curve of our sleeve to start. 
And just as an FYI, I left one side row and the border left, but that's completely up to you. I already have this side done, so let's get the other side done together. So start by inserting your hook into the bottom corner stitch. From here, insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. Now from here, we have a bunch of side double crochets to go into, so we're just going to put two sim crochets into each of those. This is my first side double crochet, so I'm going to insert my hook, and then put one single crochet into that same side double with my second single crochet. And then just as a reference, this is my second side double, so there's one single into that same one, my second single. Keep working our way up until we want our curve portion to start for our strap, and then I will meet you guys back right after we do the same thing that we did here on the other side. So now that we have single crocheted along the edges of our cups, we can now get started on our back. So what we're going to do is make a chain of the same amount of single crochets that we made along the side of our cups. If you guys have my numbers, I have a total of 14 stitches. So I'm going to make a total of 14 chains. And now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off that last chain. And from here, I'm going to do a chain one. This doesn't count as a stitch. This is just our turning chain. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a single crochet. And then from here, put one single crochet into every chain. All right, now that our single crochet row is done, we're now going to get started with a double crochet row. So start by doing a chain three and flip our work. Now, just getting this first double crochet row started, we're going to start with a decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, into that next stitch, pull through. Should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. We're actually going to do one more decrease of two right next to this stitch, so let's get that started. Yarn over, insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, pull through two, and put one double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. And now that we have our first double crochet row done, we're now going to do a row back loop slip stitches. So chain one, flip our work, and now we're just going to insert our hook into that first stitch's back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. Insert into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way down. Now, when we reach the end of this row, we're going to do a chain three and flip our work. We're going to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, and we're going to alternate between a back loop double and back loop slip stitch row until we make our way across our back. And when we have one double crochet left, so that we can do our increase on the other side to match this side's curve. I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. All right, so we've made our way across our back. I have a total of 59 rows, and that's a total of 15 inches or 39 centimeters across. We ended on our slip stitch row, and now we're going to do our last increase double crochet row, one single crochet row, and then we'll be all finished. So since we are along the top, we're going to start with two sets of increases because our decreases were along the top as well, and we needed to match that curve. So from here, we're all going to start with a chain of three. We're going to yarn over into that first back loop. We're going to insert our hook with one back loop double crochet. And then one more back loop double crochet into that same first stitch. And then another increase set into that next back loop. So insert with one double crochet. And then into that same double crochet with one back loop. And then from here, put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the end of this row, do a chain one. Flip our work, and then put one regular single crochet into every stitch. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam our back to our front panels. Alright, so I've just finished up my double crochet with an increase and single crochet row. And we're now going to connect it into that single crochet row that we did on the outside of our cups. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into that corner stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Now from here, we're going to make sure that our work is slipped right side out, and we're going to start with our outside loop slip stitch seam so it can match our slip stitches. So insert your hook into that front panel's front loop, and into that back panel's back loop only. 
we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. Let's do one more into that next front loop into the front panel, and then into that next back loop into the back panel. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through everything. Now we're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so our back panel is nice and attached. And now right before we get started with the strap, we're going to single crochet along the top corner, going down our back so it's easier to connect. We're gonna start by inserting our hook into the corner stitch of our top border. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're just going to single crochet away all the way down. And since we have a decent amount of tail ends, I'm gonna show you guys how to weave those in as we go at the same time. So start by inserting your hook into that next stitch. Now we should have one tail end right here. We're just gonna lay that over that stitch that we just inserted our hook into. And then we're going to single crochet per usual, making sure that tail end is right on top of that stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through two. And that's pretty much it. You guys can see that the tail end is in between the single crochet. Let's do the next one. Into that next stitch, lay that tail end down, and then single crochet. Now we're going to continue to put one single crochet into every stitch. And then once we reach our back panel, we're gonna put one single crochet into every side slip stitch, and then two single crochets into every side double crochet row. All right, so I have single crocheted my way all the way down and I'm about ready to get started with my back panel. So let's get that started. The first row that I have right here is this side slip stitch row, actually my seam. So I'm gonna find that top loop and then insert my hook into there with this with one single crochet. And once we have that, my next side row is a side double crochet row. So we're gonna be putting two single crochets into there. So insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. There's our first, and there's our second single crochet. And then that's it. Continue to put one single crochet into every side slip stitch and two single crochet into every side double crochet row, making our way all the way around and up to the other corner of our front border. Do a chain up of one and cut once we have that, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, and now that my single crochet row is all finished, we can now get started on our top band slash strap. So the first thing we're gonna do is find that middle stitch that we have, and then we're going to insert our hook into that stitch. If you guys have my numbers, mine is the 52nd. Now from here, we're going to want to make sure that our work is flipped right side up, with our bottom band faced down towards us, and we're looking at the back. We're gonna start by inserting our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and start by making a chain the length that we want this to be, including our strap. So I want mine to be about an inch or two centimeters, so I'm gonna start by making a chain of four. And now that I have my chain, I'm going to chain three. That counts as our turning chain. From here, we're gonna yarn over, and then double crochet into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook. So let's insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Continue to put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we put one double crochet into every chain, still making sure that our work is flipped right side out, we're gonna want to start to work into the left side of our back panel. So from here, we're gonna count up one, two stitches, and slip stitch into that second stitch. Now our first row of double crochets is all closed off, and now we're gonna slip stitch into that next stitch, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain three, flip our work, and put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, and then we're gonna connect it into the base the same way that we just did. So go ahead and repeat those two rows, making our way all the way down until we reach this top corner. All right, so now that I've reached this top corner, all we're going to do from here is work on the strap. So we're going to do the next row in our row sequence. It doesn't matter which one you guys are on, but just do the next one, and then repeat a back loop double and back loop slip stitch rows, making our way all the way until we get a length that can reach up and over our shoulder. And I will meet you guys back right after a double crochet row to show you guys how we're gonna connect it into the back. All right, we are back, and I have just finished going in with the length of my strap. And counting from our first double crochet row, I have a total of 65 rows, and just the strap portion is about 10 inches or 26 centimeters, 
and really quickly don't mind that I have the other side of my strap all done I just want to make sure that we have the right measurements for you guys but once we have the length of our strap I'm going to show you guys how we're going to seam it so this stitch marker indicates where we did our original chain when we started working on this side what we're going to do from here is insert our hook into that last stitch from our original chain making sure that our strap is face downwards because we want the seam to be along the inside. From here we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. We're now going to seam it together with a single crochet seam. So into that first stitch into the strap go ahead and insert your hook and then into that next row that we have it should be a side double crochet row. So we're going to insert our hook into that side double crochet with one. We're going to do one more single crochet going into the next stitch into the strap and then into that same side double crochet row just like that now from here our next row is a side slip stitch row so insert your hook into that next stitch into the strap and find that top loop for our side slip stitch row and then single crochet and we're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left and then do a chain up of one and cut all right so now that we have attached our first strap we're now going to do our next strap which is going to be done the same way I'm just going to show you guys where we're going to insert our hook how to do our first row and then we can move on from there so what we're first going to do since we started with a double crochet into the base we're going to count up two available stitches from that stitch that's taken up by our chain so since this stitch has our stitch marker in it we're going to count up one count up two slip stitch into there insert your yarn onto your hook pull through from here we're going to put one double crochet into every stitch and then do a chain one flip our work put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch so let's just do the first row together start with the yarn over insert your hook into that first stitch yarn over pull through pull through two pull through two yarn over again into that next stitch pull through pull through two pull through two and put one double crochet into every stitch chain one at the end of this row flip our work one back loop slip stitch and we are going to repeat everything that we did on the other side including the strap and seaming it to the back and then I will meet you guys back all right and now that we have both of our straps all finished up we're now going to start working on our bottom band so let's all start by inserting a hook into any one of our bottom rows insert your yarn onto your hook pull through and do a chain up of one to secure and from here if you guys are working along the back first like me we're going to put two single crochets into every side double and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row and then along the front since we just have a bunch of stitches along the bottom we're going to put one single crochet into each of these stitches so let's just get the first section of our back panel started my next row that i have is a side double crochet row so i'm going to insert my hook into there with one and then into that same side row with my second single crochet. My next single crochet is going to go into the top of this side slip stitch row, so go ahead and find that loop. And then single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I've just single crocheted along the entirety of the bottom of my bralette. And now we're going to make a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be. I want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 12. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one, and into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. And then from there, we're going to put one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base to close off this first row. So into that next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through everything, and now this first row is closed off, so let's get started on our next row. We're going to slip stitch up one stitch into the base and flip our work. And from here, we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, insert into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of the row, do a chain one, flip our work, 
and continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. We're going to keep repeating those two rows all the way around until we don't have any more stitches left. Then we'll meet you guys back so we can seam our bottom band together. Okay, so we have made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left to go into. So now we're going to seam our bottom band together. So we're all going to start by inserting our hook into the back panel's corner stitch, making sure that our work is slipped right side out. So go ahead and insert your hook into that corner since our hook is already into this front panel's corner. Yarn over and pull through everything. From here, we're going to do another outside loop slip stitch seam. So let's just do the first one together. Into that front panel, we're going to insert our hook only into that front loop. And then into the back panel, we're going to insert our hook only into that back loop. We should have three loops on our hook, so from here, go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three. We're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut. And now that we have seamed our bottom band, we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, guys. Our tutorial is all finished. Don't forget to check it out on Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter. All those links are down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.